Welcome back. I want to talk about how to fully erase a Mac remotely using Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So here we have my Mac pulled up in Endpoint Manager, and I'm going to click on the ellipsis, and I'm going to choose Erase. Now, I've already talked about doing a selective wipe using Retire, so see my other video for that, but we're going to choose Erase. And this is going to remove all the data from the device, including the operating system. And there's going to be no warning to the end user. Now, if the device does not have a T2 security chip, then you have to set a six-digit PIN to be able to allow them to reinstall the operating system. Now, you're probably wondering what in the world is a T2 security chip? Well, it's kind of like a TPM chip in a Windows PC where uh, that chip is responsible for things like the secure generation of uh, encryption keys. A T2 chip is just like that, but for Mac devices. And this is where the secrets for Touch ID get stored locally on the device and other things like encrypted storage and secure boot. And I'll put a link in the video description because it's important to understand which versions of Mac come with the T2 security chip. So if it has a T2 security chip, then don't worry about what's stated here. If it does not have one, then you need to set a pin. Uh, but it's gonna require a pin anyway, so let's go ahead and set the pin. Um, and then we're gonna do the remote uh, erase here. So let's switch over to the Mac and watch this in action. Okay, so we just sent that remote erase command from Microsoft Endpoint Manager to the Mac. And in just a few moments, we should start to see it. And there it goes. And there's me, hey everybody. And now the Mac is rebooting. There's the Apple logo. And at this point, it's gonna start to format the device, the disk, and we're gonna get brought to a screen where it wants us to reinstall the operating system. So let's let it go through its uh, through its steps here. Let me see if I could try to adjust the focus. I apologize for this. Uh, I'm not a, a professional videographer, uh, but this is the Apple logo and this is the progress bar. So let's let this cook for a few moments. We'll come back to it and see what's happening next. Now, as you can see, once I sent that command, it was within maybe five seconds, if that, that it automatically rebooted the device and it started to do the format. So here it is, it just rebooted again, and now it's going through its steps. Now we're getting into the Mac OS recovery screen, and, and now it's sitting at a screen to choose my network. So let's go ahead and connect to a wireless network. Okay, and we'll just hit enter. We're gonna connect to my wireless network, and now it's going through a progress bar. Again, I apologize for this. I need to get a better camera, I suppose. There's now a countdown timer on the screen. Let me know that uh, it's gonna take about four seconds for it to continue loading. So we'll let it continue to cook here. While this is loading, I'll just maybe kind of explain some use cases for this. I mean, I could see this being extremely valuable if a device gets lost or stolen. Uh, obviously, uh, if, it's a, um, if it's a device with a terminated employee, this might be useful as well. Um, but it's, I wanted to make a video on this because this could be really hard to test. So I wanted to do this so you could see and have some expectations of what this command actually does. Uh, I actually ran this before, uh, about an hour ago before I made this video. And uh, it does exactly what it says. It's gonna wipe the entire disk, reformat it. And then at that point you're at the OS recovery screen and it no longer has an operating system on it. And at that point you actually have to reinstall the operating system. So it is very intrusive. Still going through the progress here. Again, this is reformatting the disk and it's going to reinstall the OS. So this is obviously going to take a, a while. So I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back to when this is finished. So bear with me. Okay, and now we're at the OS recovery screen. So let's go through the motions here. Let's go ahead and choose our language. Now, this would be if I had an activation lock set, which I do not, and that would be from my, my Apple ID. Uh, now we're at the, the recovery screen, so now we can go through and start to, uh, you know, if we wanna do any disk partitioning, we can certainly do that. But if I go into disk utility, and I go back up here to uh, the SSD, um, you can see that the capacity is 251 and uh, uh, there's no other partition outside of that. And then at this point, 
I can either create a new volume or I can immediately start to go in and reinstall the OS. Um, if we try to do a reboot, let's go ahead and do that. If we try to do a reboot, you will see that uh, it will fail because there's no OS on the system. So go through post here and there's the folder with the question mark indicating that there's no OS on the system. So it's useless until we reinstall Mac OS. Now, if we come back over to Microsoft Endpoint Manager for a moment, um, here we can see that the wipe is pending. If we just do a quick refresh on the page, uh, we could see the device is no longer in the directory, so it's been removed. So it did its job. So if you found value in this, let me know. Give me some comments. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe. It does help me out. Uh, it helps me understand if, uh, if I need to be making more content and where to focus that content. And uh, by all means, reach out anytime and let me know what your questions are and your feedback is. A lot more videos coming here on Mac OS with Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So we will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.